Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're back with the Raspberry Pi 2 and comparing it to the Raspberry Pi 1. And today we're taking a viewer suggestion from Nico, uh, who pointed out that I always cover Minecraft when I look at low-end PCs, but I didn't do it on the Raspberry Pi. And they actually include Minecraft, at least a Raspberry Pi version of Minecraft, with the Raspbian OS that is kind of the standard installation. So let's boot it up here on both of them like we did before and look at how well it runs on both. And as you can see, it actually runs nicely uh, on both the old Pi and the new one. Surprisingly, I'm actually really surprised by how well it runs on both. Now this is not a full you know, PC version of Minecraft that would equate this more to uh, the uh, kind of the pocket edition that's available on uh, Android and iOS. So the worlds are certainly a little bit smaller uh, and it's not uh, completely uh, all there as far as you know, being a full Minecraft installation, but you do get a uh, bulk of the features and it runs, as you can see, even on the old one, runs really well. But one thing that I found interesting is the amount of CPU that it takes to render the scene. So take a look at uh, the screen on the left, which is the old Raspberry Pi. Uh, next to the clock there, uh, it's taking about 70% uh, or more of its resources just to kind of uh, render the frame. Even when we're kind of sitting still here, uh, we're looking at, you know, high 80 percentile here for uh, overall CPU usage. And if we switch over to the new one, uh, when it's sitting idle, it's only at about 10%. Uh, and when you're moving around as well, it doesn't really uh, jump up too high either. So the new one is a really a lot more efficient at uh, doing whatever it is uh, the uh, Minecraft installation on the Pi requires, which I thought was rather interesting. Now, one of the cool things about Minecraft on the Pi is that it has an API that links up to Python, which is a programming language. And let me show you what you can do with that. Uh, you can basically go in into Python, uh, connect it to Minecraft, and uh, you can just start doing stuff like this, where you can just drop in a line of code and have it build a whole block of stuff uh, automatically, essentially, here. It's pretty cool how that works, isn't it? Uh, and that's one of the cool things about uh, what they're doing with the Raspberry Pi, which is really to get people to understand how to uh, program computers and do things with them beyond just uh, using them as an entertainment device or a game playing device, actually begin to learn how to manipulate code and have that code do things that we want. Want it to do. And as you can see here, as I adjust some of these values uh, and execute them, it adds more uh, to that particular block that I'm building. I can go back to the world and then uh, scroll around what I just built. And really a neat way to kind of gain uh, concepts in programming uh, while doing something a lot, it's really a lot of fun, which is playing Minecraft. And you can think about how quickly you might be able to build up a world or you could have, you know, for example, maybe blocks build around a player as they're walking. Because again, you're in Python, so you can pretty much program it to do uh, whatever you want because there is a complete complete API. Uh, Python and Minecraft will communicate with each other so you can pass variables back and forth, uh, and build some really complex programming uh, while you're playing a really fun game we hear in this case Minecraft which is just really really cool and that kind of speaks to uh, the mission of Raspberry Pi it was built by a nonprofit foundation that continues uh, to design new versions of it like this Raspberry Pi 2 uh, to really try to get adults and kids into programming understanding how programming works and uh, being able to code some of their own stuff and Minecraft's a great way to learn uh, when I was a kid back in the 80s we used something called logo which was far less fun than this you would have a little turtle on the screen and use it to uh, draw lines and stuff with lines of code, uh, this is certainly a lot more fun. So really cool stuff. So I want to thank Nico for suggesting I take a look at uh, Minecraft on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, interestingly, it runs just as well on the old one as it does on the new one, but uh, I think maybe some of this programmatic stuff might do a little bit better uh, on the newer version of the Pi. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.